Here's another example of skunk rust taking care of rust on an old Dodge truck. This is the hood of a Dodge truck. This was treated about a month, month and a half ago. As you can see, rust hasn't come back. The rust continues. That is the inert iron phosphate structure built up on this hood. And all we need to do is really paint it. It kind of looks like it's been painted. But all we need to do is paint it, and it's done. You can just primer it, or even go as far as putting a finish coat on it. So skunk rust. You got rolling red rust like this. Spray skunk rust on it. It consumes the rust, leaves that inert iron phosphate structure, and paint it. That's all there is to it. I've got more examples to come. Stay tuned. Another use for skunk rust? That's right. Electric meter bases. This one here had red rolling rust all along here. As you can see now, we've built up a nice iron phosphate patina. You have some staining, but don't be fooled, that's not rust. It has stopped rusting entirely. In another chapter in skunk rust. You'll see behind me a Buick Cutlass that is beyond probably repair. So I've used this to demonstrate how aggressive and how skunk rust works. We just took, as you'll see behind me, the hood of this, this car, which looked just like this, and we sprayed skunk rust on it. Here's the finished product. This took only about three days. What you see here is an electrically inert iron phosphate structure which has consumed the rust. Now because there's so much rust here, it's actually continuing to work. So I want to let it, after two days, it's only two days, I'm going to let this sit out here for about another three or four days. Let it rain on it, let the sun hit it, let it rain on it, let the sun hit it. That is part of the process. It draws the, the skunk rust into the metal. It attacks all the corrosion, all the, all the rust, converts it to an iron phosphate, and then this structure right here has stopped rusting and will not rust anymore. This truly is what I would call the non-believers. And eventually what I'll do is I'll stay here and, and, uh, when it's ready and I'll paint it. And then you will not have any bleeding rust coming through the rust. So skunk rust. Why do we call it skunk rust? Because when you beat something, undeniably, that, like seven to nothing, you skunk them. Well, that's what we do with the rust. We skunk it. Another use for skunk rust? That's right. Barbecue grill. This grill had skunk rust treated on the gas tubes that rust and normally rust out, which a replacement cost is somewhere around $80 to $90. This grill is five years old, have been sprayed with skunk rust. The tubes built up the iron phosphate patina. Patina is good from zero to 2,500 degrees. So it's going anywhere. It's going to stay there, doesn't come off, doesn't burn off. This grill is around a 500 degree grill, so well within the, the realm and uses of skunk rust. So any type of metal, any type of structure, as long as it's outside, your only requirements is are to spray it, let it dry, that's it. It'll consume the rust, build up the iron phosphate. It's an electrically inert iron phosphate. What that means is it stops the electrolysis of rusting. So rust can no longer form on these tubes or any other metal structure you put it on. Got more uses to come. Stay tuned. Another use for skunk rust? You got it. Air conditioning shells. If you live on the coast, along the beach, say the Outer Banks, the Jersey Shore, a lot of times the air conditioning units, the actual shells, will rust out long before the internals do rust out. What you need to do again is skunk rust it. Spray skunk rust all over the shell, internally, externally. It doesn't hurt any of the components, won't hurt any of the wires. It's a water-based product. doesn't hurt you or me. But what again we'll do is set up that iron phosphate patina. They'll stop this shell from rusting out. So next time you pay that four or five thousand dollar bill just because your shell rusted out and there's nothing wrong with the internals, a thirty-five dollar bottle of skunk rust goes a long way. Matter of fact, one bottle will probably do this entire air conditioner. More uses of skunk rust to come. Stay tuned. There are other uses for skunk rust. One of them here behind me is a boat trailer. This, this trailer had rusted springs. Now we sprayed skunk rust on them probably a good six or seven times. 
Well, what I'm doing, I'm going to take you in and show you. You'll see all the rolling ferric oxide is gone, and now you just have basic steel that doesn't rust, and you don't build up the rolling rust. So here we go. Be a little bumpy. As you can see here, you have the gray, you can see the gray buildup. This is not rust. This is the gray armor coating that has now formed on these springs. And on this side, as you can see, the spring here has built up that gray armor there on the top and then all the way through to stop the rusting process. Hello, I'm Craig Roberts, and what I've attempted to do in this skunk rust video is show you the multiple uses of skunk rust. If it's metal and it's rusting, spray stick and stay technology of skunk rust will deoxidize the rust, set up that iron phosphate patina, stop the rust, and you can paint over this product. Again, one of our signatures is our railroad spike. You can see this has been treated on this end. Nice clean structure. It looks like it's been sandblasted. Here you got a very heavy buildup of the iron phosphate, what you'll see. And then again, here's what the spike looked like before we treated it. All you need to know about skunk rust is spray it on, let it dry. That's it. The elements will take care of the rest. This is a product made for outside, not made for inside. So if you got something rusting inside and expect it to work, it works in the presence of moisture and it works in the presence of heat. The product is hygroscopic. But don't be afraid by the product because the product is environmentally friendly. It's safe for the environment and it's safe for you and safe for me. Let me show you a little demonstration which maybe some of the imitators they might want to try to say they can do. Would you say this is the most tender part of skin? I think it is, right here on your underarm. Try to do this with anybody else's iron phosphating compound. Right about now, if you had someone else's product, I'd be running, screaming, going to the first aid kit because it'd be burning my skin. The unique compounds of skunk rust makes it friendly for the environment, but ah, makes it work with the outside elements. Skunk rust, a truly safe product, product that you can use around your family, as well and used in industrial environments. So I want to thank you for watching. Skunk Rust is truly innovative, yet simple, is very effective, but friendly for you and for the environment. If you'd like more information about Skunk Rust, you can visit the website at www.skunkrust.com or you can email me at sunbright200, that's S-U-N-B-R-I-G-H-T 200, at verizon.net. I'll send you all technical data, MSDS, um, anything that you'd like to know. Again, this product is not only residential but industrial, so it works in any environment you want. Please, often imitated, not duplicated. Skunk Rust, try it. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching.